we thought a relaxing canal boat would be the perfect first holiday to have with our newborn baby Noah. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out to be far more stressful and exhilarating than we ever thought. I have a new problem. Join us as we try to navigate the world of travel as first time parents. I'm so excited I could cry. <laughs> Why? Because I'm going on the road with my boys for the first time. Typically we pack this. Now we pack this. But this wasn't going to deter us from our first trip with our four week old baby. So we hit the road and made a short journey to the rural countryside to pick up our canal rental. So this is it. This is our home for the next four nights. It's so cute. The crazy thing is you don't need a license to drive something like this. And uh, this is the smallest one we could possibly find. <laughs> First we had to load our mountain of luggage into the boat before we could check out our new home for the next four days. Oh wow! So cool! Oh, there's a wardrobe. It's the camper van of the canals. It is the camper van of the canals. So we've got this is the bedroom. Oh, this is so cool. A full bathroom and standing shower and everything. I mean, it's already an upgrade, isn't it, from the van? <laughs> uh -huh. This is a really nice kitchen living room area. I mean, wow. look at the water out here, how close it is to the... Oh my goodness, yeah, you feel really low down, don't you? Well, I mean, that's all our so crap. Cool. I am so impressed, and it is amazing what you can get in such a small amount of space. If this is the smallest one that you can get, I can't imagine the ones that are double this size. They showed me how to operate the boat, and after some baby duties, we were ready. Ooh. Now it's time to actually take it out on the waters. The guy is actually gonna come with us for a couple hundred yards just to make sure we've got the hang of things. So fingers crossed, it's as easy as it looks. Now bring it back to the center. Now oversteer, stop the turn, back to the center. I am now completely in charge on my own and I'm absolutely terrified. Oh. I've just had maybe half an hour of training and then they just trust you. <laughs> like, do they know me? He can't even drive a camper van. <laughs> How dare you? Don't set them off. I'm actually very impressed at how unstressed you're being about this whole thing right now. Just up here on your own, steering around the canals, like you know what you're doing. Wow, the front of the boat is so peaceful compared to the back because you've got the sound of the engine right there and it's obviously a massive diesel engine so it's not a quiet one but up here is really relaxing and peaceful. This might just have to be where me and the little one hang out. <laughs> Let's park up over here. Okay, I have to go back and help Alex because it's time to moor up. Eek! What I'm doing. Luckily a passerby saw this embarrassed headless chicken and offered to help. I then pretended to know what I was doing with this rope. I'm trying to remember everything, I just got two up about 20 minutes ago. Uh, like I said, it's so much to take in. Yeah. My bit of advice is just do everything slowly. There we go. That's it, and then you can and just wrap it back around the dolly. Yeah. yeah. Thank God for the kindness of strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting so worked up. Now that we've parked, I'm not moving this for the rest of the day. <laughs> we are staying here tonight. Yeah. It is a lot of information to take in in one go. Yeah, definitely. And it's very much the kind of... <laughs> doing Am I doing it right? <laughs> and that's what it felt like, trying to do too many things at once. <laughs> and then obviously Emma usually would be able to at least yeah. go through the induction. Yeah. But because we've got the baby, Emma's looking oh. after him, feeding him. And as I was reversing, I realized that we need two people, one person to jump off, but you don't know what to do. Yeah. And you have a baby and you can't <laughs> jump off, but you can't take control of the, of the boat at the same time. Oh man, that was so <laughs> weirdly stressful. I felt very useless and wished that I was there for the whole of the sort of introduction to boating that we had, or uh, well, that you had. So I think you might have to give me a little rundown on what to do. So when you pull up to one of the places on the embankment, you've got to look for one of these signs and it will tell you how long you can stay for. So we can stay here for 48 hours for free. That's pretty cool. And then if we wanted to stay extra, we'd have to pay 25 pound each. I just love how easy this is.
I can feel the memories to come. Yeah. It's quite overwhelming. I could do a little Michael Jackson thing where I hang him over the edge of the boat. Maybe we don't do that. What, you're saying I shouldn't copy what Michael Jackson does? Yes. Isn't it amazing how many people along here appear to live on their canal boats full time? Because look at this. It's like they have a full on garden on top of their boat. On our travels, we come across these little pockets of society and communities that you kind of just don't know that are living their lives. And it's just fascinating when you come into contact with this kind of thing. Like the guy helping us earlier is a guy that lives on here. Just yeah. a lovely, friendly bloke. I want to meet more people that live full time on the boats. So I bet you meet some really interesting characters. I do love a community that is extremely very welcoming. Uh, the van life community is very much like that. And now I would like to say, based on our one experience, one interaction, <laughs> and I think generalizations is the way to go in life anyway. Of course. People from the canal boat life are lovely and welcoming. <laughs> We found a local pub nearby, so we smuggled Noah in, had dinner, and then it was back to the boat for the evening. <laughs> Just sit down. <laughs> to get in. Such a comically sized door. So you're telling me that life is supposed to get better than this? It's the lack of the condom that created him. <laughs> it's his mortal enemy. <laughs> so cute. It was then time to get ready for our first night on the boat. So to combat sleep deprivation, we take it in turns. I take the first shift and then Emma swaps with me for the rest of the night. Good morning. Hello. We're all awake this morning. How was your first night away with the little man? It was actually pretty good, I have to say. I don't know if it was the rocking of the boat or the clicking of that annoying clock, <laughs> but he actually slept pretty well. It's now 5.30 in the morning and we both just agreed that we're up now. The sun is slowly coming up. Just walking along the canal this morning. We are the only people here that have a holiday boat and everyone else is living here. And it gives me the same vibes of van life. But with van life, you get everything from basically one step away from homelessness to these fancy big rigs that can cost you up to like half a million dollars. And I'm getting the same vibe here that you have this huge range and golf and you've got people like us that like dip in and out and use it as like a play thing and these people that actually live here out of necessity just seeing everyone's lives sort of built onto a boat is a fascinating thing to see and a very humbling way to start the day this bridge is our first test of the day i know we need to be pushing this and it will rotate around and open up but I haven't yet figured out how to unlock it so we can do that and then we need to pull the boat over here and then something to do with this I just haven't been able to figure it out at the moment as this bit doesn't come off and nor does this bit at the moment oh okay <laughs> I know what to do we enjoyed a lazy morning on the canal, and the next thing we knew, it was the afternoon. We were up this morning at 5.30, kind of wide awake, and then baby life has taken us until five past one, <laughs> and <laughs> I thought van life was slow. Part of me just wants to actually just stay here and enjoy the next few days here without actually pushing ourselves. We are gonna push on and go further down the canal today. I think today is going to be a very steep learning curve. We have to figure out this bridge, we have to figure out locks, and, uh, and also just getting on and off the boat. We're not going to have that guy that helped us every single time.
Okay, so we're approaching our first obstacle. We've got a swing bridge coming up, so we have to moor up on the side. It feels really weird to have just left the boat unmanned, but this is quite awkward. Okay, it's out. So, uh, I'll go open the bridge for you. Okay. Good luck. We did it! Obstacle number one, complete. Well, almost complete. I still need to get back on the boat. <laughs> I have a new problem. <laughs> I can't. Okay, just go forward towards the bank. Remember, aim away from the bank if you want to go towards it. Emma's locked the bridge, we are now ready to go again and I think this is like test one and this is kind of easy, it's only going to get harder. Okay. <laughs> but we have done it. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, I'm so stressed. Before we go any further, I just want to say thank you to Huel for sponsoring today's video. Our life has always been on the go, but we don't have as much time to ourselves anymore and that is why for the last month we've been eating Huel and it's been an absolute godsend. Huel's Hot and Savory range is an affordable and convenient way to eat healthily. If Emma's feeding Noah, like now, and I don't have time to cook, then I usually grab Huel as it is a tasty, 100% completely nutritious meal. There are a range of flavours which are all plant-based, and currently our favourite is mac and cheese, but we also do like the Thai green curry as well. The best thing is, it's super simple to make. You just have to add one or two scoops, add hot water, and in five minutes you've got yourself a delicious, healthy meal. It's great on its own, but I really like to add hot sauce to give it an extra kick, and because it's so convenient, it means I can get back to helping out Noah as quick as possible. It's made with all natural ingredients, and it's packed with vitamins and proteins, and it's been the easiest way to make a quick meal that we've ever found. It's perfect for at home, in our camper van, or on the go, like now. If you want to support our channel and give Huel a try, make sure you check out our link down below and you'll get free shipping on your first order as well as a free t-shirt. We got through the next bridge relatively easily, but then we had a new obstacle to fight, the wind. Okay, this is not a holiday. On the side here, canal holidays. It probably is a holiday if you're not looking after a newborn baby. Yeah. For some reason, we didn't think that would be a problem. <laughs> what were we thinking? And the, the thing is, it is fun. Like, I actually like all this kind of stuff. And I think if we had a third person on the boat to look oh, after the baby, I'd street. be having an absolute blast. We have our first lock here, which I'm a little bit worried about. <laughs> I am so f scared of this. <sighs> okay, I'll stay on the boat with the baby. In case you don't know what a lock is, it is like a staircase for the canal boats. So as you can see here, the water is very high. And then down here, the water is very low. So I understand the basic principle is that I need to flood this up to reach the same level as that, close the gate doors, then open the other gate doors, all the water should flood out, we should go down and then we should be ready to go. But I've never done this. They showed me how to do one in theory, but I haven't done it in practice. Ugh. I just feel like this is like a chance for me to do that like monumentous damage to yeah. something. Like all this water, all this pressure and power. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to do this side first, are you? So if you open these, it's just going to go flooding. Yeah, water. that's what you do. How else would you flood it up? So yeah, that's... I don't like this at all. And then we should start to see, as I do this, water should start filling up. There's water bubbling around down there. Al's twisting that. Water's coming in. I can tell it's going up because that ladder is slowly disappearing. This is very nerve-wracking. Oh man, this is exhilarating. So we're halfway there now. We have it in, we have it full. And now we've got to get it down. <laughs> Just realised this is going straight down and neither of us are on it. 
I'm going to get on and I'm going to have to teach Emma from the boat what to do. We were probably getting a reputation at this point for being absolutely s as another kind stranger stops by to help. The last time we were filming, we were on a lock. We had to abandon the filming because it got really stressful really quickly. <laughs> Especially with a, a hungry and dirty nappy baby. So it was all systems go. We had to halt the filming, get on with everything else that was far more important, <laughs> to be honest. But we've been um, rewarded by a little park up yeah. by the pub here. It looks so cool, doesn't it? So right next to the pub, you have all these spots where you can actually just come and moor up right alongside the pub. Gutted we missed this first one because we could have actually moored up in the pub garden <laughs> had we noticed it soon enough. After a stressful day of juggling a newborn baby, filming, learning to maneuver a boat and figuring out the locks, we still couldn't fully relax as we had more challenges waiting for us tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. How did you survive night two? Yeah, pretty well. It's very easy just to play it safe and stay at home, I think, because we have a really good routine at home, don't we? Yeah. You know, I go to bed really early, Al stays up and does the first leg of the night shift, I get up sort of around one o'clock, we swap, I look after him until the morning, but we need to adapt and we need to learn how to adjust that routine when we're away. Otherwise, we're just gonna end up staying at home all the time. Yeah, it'd be really easy to have just gone back last night and yeah. given up. Yeah, no. Never give up. We got this. The aim on this journey was to reach the town of Bradford upon Avon, but during breakfast, we decided on a new plan. We have decided after yesterday that we are gonna give up and turn around. The problem is with canal life is you can't just turn around because the canals aren't wide enough. So you need to go to a designated turning point. And annoyingly for us, that's far away. We have to go through two locks and three bridges further down here until we can turn around. And then we can start making our way back. We still have two more nights on the boat. And I think a successful day for us today will to be get back here where we are now and just turn the other way around. <laughs> I have quite an impatient mind and I don't know if canal life is for me in this regard. I do understand that the slow life is part of the fun here. So we're going to enjoy it for what it is and have a leisurely day on the canal ready so that we're facing the right way to get back the next day. We've learned our lessons from yesterday, hopefully, and we are starting a lot earlier today. So Emma is just feeding Noah, I'm getting the locks ready, and then we're going to make our way. We might have just hit the jackpot because I can see that there is another boat coming down from the other lock over there. I believe you can pair up with people and you can fit two in the lock at a time. So hopefully we can piggyback off them and their skills. Jackpot. We have some friends. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Those are our new buddies over there. Oh, so yeah, we can go that's through with great them. news. And that will save us all the stress in the world. Oh, fantastic. So there's nothing like being thrown in at the deep end. We've just worked out that once the lock opens on the other side, someone needs to drive it out. And I guess that someone's gonna be me. So this is the first time I'm gonna drive the boat. Eek! We'll just figure it out. Okay. I can keep walking if I need to. There are always new challenges. And the next one is, as Emma has never driven this before, she doesn't know how to maneuver it and how to <laughs> come and pick me up from the side. So I've got a feeling I'm going to get a bit wet. You're just going to have to get your steps in. I'm trying to hitch a lift here, but <laughs> the bank isn't so kind to me to get on. So <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. It feels like I'm just on a walking holiday now. We have a better bit of bank to get onto now. Emma's super scared and doesn't want to do it, but I don't want to walk the whole time. So I'm asking her to come in and I'm just going to jump on and uh, <laughs> see how that goes. Em, turn the boat the other way. What are you doing? Okay. If you go faster, it will turn quicker. Oh. 
This is Emma's attempt at picking me up. I don't know how I'm supposed to get on. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> This trip, much like parenting, was constant up and downs. The moment we thought we had it all figured out, something new happened. I don't understand why they say it's really easy to learn and you don't need any experience because I just feel like we keep making so many mistakes. Uh, and the most recent one is now that we are embedded in these reeds. We finally reached the turning point and our friends also have to turn around as well so we are learning from them what to do. Emma, are you ready? Are you going to do it anyway? Yes! I can do this! I did it! That's given me so much confidence. Yeah, people here are so nice and friendly. I feel so ready. I want, I want to drive the whole way now. Nice to meet you. It was time to leave our friends and start making the journey back alone this time. At this point we felt so much more comfortable and we were loving the relaxing experience and buzzing that we were able to juggle everything successfully. Exhausted yet? <laughs> so tired. <laughs> you actually need a lot of energy to do this. I don't know how everyone doing this is old. <laughs> Why is no one struggling? What am I doing wrong? We're healthy old people. Oh. We're unfit young people. After six and a half hours we finally turned round and we're exactly the same spot that we were last night. Literally the same spot, exactly. Tied up to the same hooks. hooks. <laughs> the whole thing is surprisingly exhilarating. Like, yeah. I have way more adrenaline running through me than I thought that I would. Especially there's these little parts where when there's just one of you kind of doing the locks, you have to be running around all the time and there's certain bits where the beams are so thin that if you fall, I don't really see how you wouldn't cause serious injury. I'm surprised that they don't have railings on both sides. I mean, yeah. I guess they're just so old, right? And they haven't updated them for such a long time. And in the olden days, they didn't care about health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes on this trip, we were spending most of our time playing, feeding and changing Noah, taking the opportunity to film when he was asleep. Achoo! <laughs> Face plant. Yeah, straight into the boobs, it's a nice soft landing. Yeah. <laughs> After a successful but tiring day on the canal, it was finally time to hit the hay. Another night survived. I know, can you believe it? I am ready to go home now though, I have to say. We have decided to cut our time short by one night as we don't want to push it too far. Yesterday was a major success. Yeah. So we've decided to end our trip on a high yes. as the second day was extremely difficult and I think we pushed ourselves a bit too far. Yesterday gave us a lot of confidence yep. and we know that we can definitely do this. I'm not sure if we could do this every week just yet, no. <laughs> but in the future I know we can. We were still a few hours away so we packed up and slowly spent the day enjoying the canals before getting back to the boat drop off. We're on the final stretch now and this has been the most peaceful part of the whole journey. Probably because it's over now. But it's so nice now that it is very calm. Go alongside all the reeds, the reflections in the water is quite trippy. And it's a lovely way to end our first trip with our little man. Our first trip as a family, complete. Mission accomplished. We're leaving early. We are leaving early. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our first trip as a family. This video filming and editing did take a lot out of us. Yes. So next week we will be taking a break for a week and then we should be back the following week. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Check out our link for Huel in the description if you're interested. And for the first time as a family of three, yes. thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and... Beans out. Yeah, he's sleeping, I can't do it. <laughs>